Hi, my dear Scorpios. How are you doing? Um, thank you so much for um, all your comments and support. I'm just, I'm just every day I have to thank you for it, uh, or when I get online. Um, but uh, thank you so much for all the readings and personal readings. If you would like one, please contact me through my email, okay? And uh, it's thirty-five dollars for three questions, and it'll be fifty dollars for a twenty-four hour turnaround, okay? All right, so um, I so just make sure you let me know as soon as you want to know you have one. Uh, because later on um, in the end of the month, I will be more busy with other things. So if you'd like to get one, um, not saying I won't do the readings at the end of the month, but I will have to uh, cut down my, on my schedule about, but it's first come, first serve, okay? And join me on Angel Guide, Guidance on my Instagram, and then uh, keep in touch with me there as I will start posting things. And also, uh, thank you, Scorpios. I mean, I'm so happy to be a Scorpio. Sorry, cross watchers. <laughs> But Scorpios, oh my gosh, you know, people just don't understand Scorpios. And um, we have such the most beautiful hearts and zodiacs, and I'm not saying it because I am a Scorpio. But there's a poison type, of course, we know the kind that would key your car. But the eagle and the phoenix, oh my gosh, cross watchers, this is the person you need to look for, okay? These are the most loving people you will ever find in your life for Scorpios, okay? So... Um, Scorpio, stay strong in whatever situation you're going in or going through, um, and just stay strong, okay? So we're going to go into this reading here with um, determination, love, and power, and to strengthen your self-esteem. Know that you're worthy. Know that you're loved. The universe loves you. I love you. Your friends here in the community of the comments loves you, so please... Uh, thank you to all the people's comment on er someone else's um, comment. <laughs> How can I say it's com thank you for commenting on someone else's comment. Um, show your support with your fellow Scorpios. And also, um, that way, you know, sometimes you just never know who you're helping. And, and building this community of Scorpios, okay? All right, so, but I love everyone in the world. And um, but let's see what's happening with us. It's uh, literally 12.35 here on the Eastern Time Zone in the United States, a.m., 12.35 a.m. Um, on the Eastern Standard Time. So I just said, you know what, let me go do a reading for Scorpio. I feel like there's something you might need to hear. So I got out of my bed and came to do a reading. <laughs> so I feel like, it, you know, I needed to do this, okay, to clear something, that's some energy or something that needs to get out to somebody. So let me see, there's two cards. Let's take three more for Scorpios here. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and share with your friends on Instagram and on YouTube, okay? From YouTube. Okay, let's see if there's anything for my Scorpios. What the Scorpios need to know? I do try to give you a, a very accurate reading. And just know, if you get see in the comments any type of... Uh, WhatsApp number. Just know that's not me. I do not give out my WhatsApp number, and I think to only one person, and she knows who she is, and that's because of a special situation. But um, but that is not me. Okay, uh, you contact me th directly through YouTube and comments, and only through um, they posted a profile of mine. I don't know how they did it. Screenshot it or something. Photoshopped it. But only you can contact me through directly through email. And if you look on my account, I have a, um, you know, from the videos on my playlist, okay? And the remind, as a reminder, if you missed any June videos, they're on the playlist in the, on my channel, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with Scorpios here. Just a guidance. Let's see what's going on with guidance here. Um, okay, you have playfulness. New love. This could be the one very soon in past life relationship. Okay. Let me see. Let me push this down here. Just put them in the order up here. Okay, so I hope you can see that. I'm trying to get my mat here so everyone can see. And I'm sorry for any shadows. It's just because it's dark and uh outside so usually I do it during daylight because the lighting's better so hopefully you see it okay um and Scorpio's here 
you know what I see here? I see here there's a um, your past life person. And this person, as I've been saying, you you have been going through some rough patches with this person. You've been through, sorry to say, to, excuse my French or whatever you want to call it, but you've been through hell and back and hell and back with this person. To make them try to care about you, to make you recognize you, to make you appreciate you, to value you, right? And you did everything you could in your power to make this person um, uh, respect you. And... And it looks like, it feels like this person has came back or is close to you in your life. And they have come back they, or they're going to be popping back in like they always do. They make the rounds. And I get this sense of feeling here that you're just, you are really over this person. You you didn't never think you would get to a point where you would just get past this person because you loved them so much in the past. But, you know, I will tell you for for most of you, not all of you, but most of you, when you see this person, you're not going to be attracted to them. You're going to be looking at them like, it's almost like a stranger here. And almost like a feeling of, like, um, you're ready to move on to something new. And this is really the new love is here. You're like, uh, I just want to go test test the waters for somebody new. I want to go fishing now. Because this person who was in your past went fishing with a third party. They, got, they walked out of your life. They did everything they could to destroy and crumble you down. But there's going to be, but this person here is hanging on to you. He's coming back to hanging on to you like the last string of the fish line. Okay, they're trying to still keep you hooked um, in their life. Now, you will have, they will come back with some lovely, lovely stuff and, you know, love bum you, show you some sweet words, all those kinds of things to try to get you back in. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see this uh, really quick change of character again. And, but you know what? But when that happens, you're like, God, this person's going, is, sorry, God, I didn't mean to say that. You're going to say, Oh, my Jesus. Okay, that why is this person, I don't even care about this person much. You, this is when you're going to have the crossover. Uh, that you don't care about this person anymore. As much as you used to. You still have love for them. But you, you don't have the sexual connection with them anymore. The romantic feelings like you did before. You only love them as a person that you once knew. You know, like the song says uh, by, what's it, uh, Goatee or something like that. Um, someone you used to know. That song. Uh, that's the title. Someone you used to know. An Australian band, I think it is. But but here you are. It's like, you know what? I went through all this hell with this person. To try to get them to pay attention to me. To drop the third party. To love me, respect me, and be part of my life. And they diss me off. And they come back when they want to. But now, Scorpio, you're not caring much, as much as you did anymore. Because there's some kind of energy here I'm feeling right here. If you want it, okay, if you're wanting it, if you're interested, your heart is getting ready to go wild for someone. I don't mean go wild as in, I mean, unless you want to. But there's a part of you here that you are just ready to mingle with somebody, mingle Mingle with someone, kiss someone, be in a partnership, go have fun with someone, go dating, go on trips together, and you just want to laugh and smile again. That's all you're wanting. And you just want that companionship because you have been lonely so long. This person, in the past, they had denied you. They didn't claim you, even as a wife. They told people they were single and divorced when they were still married and with a legal document. And even that you didn't even know what was going on, cheating and all that stuff. But you're ready for somebody new. And you're going to have a good time with them here. Playfulness. And very soon it's going to happen. But, of course, it's on the will of you. But this is what you're wanting. Okay. You're looking for some new, <laughs> new meat. You're going shopping for new meat. You know, going to the 
grocery store section and uh, you know when you look to buy chicken or fish or whatever that's how you are you're going shopping for new meat okay so but just be careful and you probably told this person you have taught me how to not pick you again you know so this is the blessing that you have okay I don't want to take all these cards but I'm gonna take them because they all slid out I'm gonna go from the bottom you see Hey, that page and that not, not a pinnacles. So I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here. Okay, let's get think, let's get seven more cards, please. Show me all seven cards for Scorpio, Zodiac, or Scorpio. What's the connection? What Scorpio needs to know? I have a good feeling. Oh, there's the Queen of Swords. That's you, my dear Scorpios. <laughs> I love this feeling. Oh, wow, Scorpio. I just, oh my gosh. It's like, what has happened to you? A couple of days ago, you were, this person, you were ready to, look at that. Just look at the cards coming out here. Oh my gosh, really? Mm -hmm -hmm. That person is flipping sideways for you now. They're worried. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, so let's talk about it, Scorpio. Okay, and then I'm going to get, let me get two cards for connecting energies as well. This is your overall energy for all the cards, but I want to get a connecting energy between you two. So show me two cards for connected energy between Scorpio and their person. Show me the cards for Scorpio and their person. Show me two cards, please. For Scorpio, show the truthful card for Scorpio. Thank you, Angel Guides and Spirits, for being with me. The Angel Guides and Spirits is always with me. Okay, so let's see what we have here. <laughs> yeah, you cut some BS out here. Okay, so here we go. So the connecting energies is here is the magician, okay, with the overall energy page of cups. So I'm just going to kind of read it with this so it'll make sense later. All right, the page of cups, your person, the page of cups, is going to make this offer to you. It's still that wishy-washy, immature love stuff that one day they love you, one day they don't kind of energy. And here with the Magician in Reverse and the Five of Swords, um, you're, like I said, you don't want to manifest this person back. You're just like, I'm done with it. I am over this. This is not, you're even past the, you're almost past the point of, no, you're not hurting anymore. You have found your strength here. You have really come to terms. You're like, you know what? You you come back to me with your mess. Um, I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you think about me. You did you you, you hurt me in the past, and you and now I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. So don't come looking for me. Don't come knocking on my door or calling my phone. Right. So this is the attitude you have here. You are just you're really ready to you you pulled out your stinger here. Or you will be. And it's not a pinnacle. It's coming in very slowly. Because they know what you're about. They know when they offer this to you, you're going to hand them a handful. And you're going to sting them with the truth. Sit beside that queen of swords. You're like, you know, again, up here in this energy. You know what? Come on. Bring it on. I don't hear any BS. I hear what you have to say. And you, some of you probably are not even with that to that level, but you're going to cut this person apart, and you're going to kick them out of your life, and you're 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 going to tell them stay out of your life here, that they're not part of your world anymore. You you got you pulled out your stinger here. Oh my goodness! But they're not giving up on you, so they're going to back off. You won't hear them. They'll ghost you. They won't be apologizing or anything like that. Um, They'll kind of go silent for a few days or a few weeks because they see this change of attitude. They see that before they used to have all this power, but you stepped back and you grabbed your power back and you snatched it from their, you know, you just snatched the whole thing back from them. You pulled the rug out from under them like they did you before. And they see this whole new you. But they want to reconcile. Do you know why, Scorpio? Because they see you as a king of pentacles here. They see you as somebody that they can grow with and have a successful future with. And a retirement here. 
What's that about? Why did I say retirement? Okay. I will say this to people who are, I'm assuming, over the age of 50-ish or in their 60s, if you're listening. And now this could be two things. This is about seeing you grow as a future because you got a very good job. And they know they can grow with you and have a good, pretty good, decent life. Or if you're over the age of 50, 55, you know, retirement, getting close to retirement or in retirement, someone's after your money here. And they want to reconcile with here. And they're going to try to take advantage of your... Anyway, regardless of the moral story of that card is... They're going to try to come in and be your best friend, your lover. They want to... How they missed you. How this... Um, they want to be in your life. They just... They know you're the right one for them. You want to build with you. All that. With that King of Pentacles and the Lover's card. Now, with the Hermit's card here, you're saying, kiss my A, kiss my arse. I know what I'm doing now. I might be, I'd might i rather be alone and be single and do my own thing and be happy than to be in a miserable relationship and deal with um, putting up with craziness. So this is why you're holding um, the lantern. You're guiding your own way, Scorpio. You kick somebody out. You pull some stingers out here. You just don't have one stinger. You had like five or six. And you cut, cut you're giving this person a cut, you're cutting this person's legs off. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You just, or just kicking them in the kneecaps, you know, to make them fall down or something. I don't know how to explain, but it's almost hilarious. I mean, I don't mean that in a, you know, anybody that has handicap issues, but that's not what I mean. It's just, um, I just see here that you have really pulled out that sword and you put the finger and you're putting them in their place. And you're because you have passed this point of no return. You have passed this strength level of, I'm not dealing with this. Why am I wasting my time with this person? Why am I, why am I doing, why did I even put up with all this BS this person did to me? You're starting to find your own strength here, Scorpio. I'm really proud of you for a lot of you. You don't even care. You're starting to, you care, but you still feel like, I don't want to deal with this, this fool. I don't want to be fooled again. Why am I doing it? I did everything for this person and gave them everything and look what they did to me. See? Okay, there's the death card in reverse. And you're not giving this person temperance. And the Queen of Wands. Okay, this person's going to be playing wishy-washy games with you, but they're going to come pretty fast and say, oh, I changed that Scorpio, I changed the Scorpio, and then you're going to see in the middle, sometimes they start flipping back to their old self, like, oh, I don't need you, I don't want to be with you, blah, 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 and then, they, then the next day, there's somebody else, they're telling you again how much they love you, miss you. It's such a crazy kind of, they don't know what they're, they, they, they are trying to play the tough man or tough woman, like the alpha male or alpha female, they're trying to be in control, like the dominating the situation, but you already cut this person and said, no, you're not. You're not bringing, bringing back your mess to me again. You're not, you're not, uh, -uh we're not, we don't have a new direction. We're not reconciling in no new direction. No, 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 no. Because here in Scorpio, this is you. The death card arrest means transformation. And you are telling this person no chance in hell, basically, that you're going to deal with this ever again. And you just like, Crush this person. Mm hmm. You don't want to deal with this anymore. And the temperance card here is showing your balance. You're cleaning your soul. You're cleaning out that toxic. You're cleaning out all that energy. And you're even putting your feet in the hot tub. You know what I mean? Or the warm tub. You're like, no, I, I, I already had enough of this. I'm staying my power. I don't care what you want. They, this person's going to have to prove to you, if anything, they're going to have to come to you and prove to you that they are worth having. Because at this point, you don't even feel this person is even worth the, worth the salt in your eyes, okay, or your tears. You are, like, changing for yourself. You're like, now this is you standing in your power. I was talking about earlier. You have pulled the rug out, and you're like, no, 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 no. I'm the queen of wands. I'm the queen of swords. I'm building myself. Don't bring any kind of your wickedness or craziness to me again. I'm growing myself. I'm going to do what's best for me. Okay? That's what you're, you're telling this person. 
And you're going to show them the truth of who they are. And you're going to do it in a stinger way, too. You're going to blow up on them, if anything. You, you just want to, and they push that button. You know what I mean? They're, it's, it's just feel like they just want to push that button. Hmm. Let's see three cards for the outcome, please, for this deck. Yeah, I told you, you're coming out of it. You're like, oh, no, no. Goodbye. I'm moving on. You see that? I'm coming unstuck, undone in this situation. One more card, please, for the final outcome for this deck. I'm going to do one more deck for Scorpio. Oh. Look at that. No happiness here. You ain't going to be dealing with this. You're not. You're over this, Scorpio. Your feelings have, like, you became... You finally start to put a smile on your face again because you feel more peace when this person's not with you. After all the battling you did with this Eight of Swords battling and being that stuck energy and all that, you're releasing that, and you're walking away. You're moving away. You're like, get away from me. I, I don't. I'm not dealing with this clown mess anymore. I'm not. If you, I'm not your monkey. I'm not your circus. You know, not my problem. That's what you're saying here. This is not my problem. I'm doing for me. And I'm going to stand in my, stand my ground and I'm going to be happy. And I'm happy here, Scorpio, because this is a, situ a situation where you have been went through a really, really tough time with this person. And you had cut this person up. At this point, you had tried to reconcile this person. You have, you was hoping that this person's going to... But when you saw this person or will see this person, or when you see them call you, you're going to be like rolling your eyes like OMG. Gosh, I can't believe this person is still... You're not even going to call them by their name. Because you don't even want to say their name. You want, And this person thinks... But you know the funny part? That all that time they had the power over you. But they don't anymore. They don't have any more power on you, Scorpio. You, you, you should, you took, they don't have that power. You know who has the power? You do. And you're going to chop them up. Not literally, but... Okay, so let's go into the next deck. But here you are releasing this person. And they starting to feel like... Now they're thinking, what is wrong with Scorpio? I've never seen Scorpio like this before. Since the 10th, you know, 5, 10 years. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm proud of you. This is a good message for some of you. Or most of you. <laughs> okay, Angel Guys of Spirits. Oh, look at that. No, oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, my gosh. See, I told you. They want a commitment and reconciling with you, as always. You're Scorpio. Please, Scorpio, know that you will... They always return to Scorpio, if not everybody. Yeah, they want to commit now. They're afraid you're going to walk off and leave them. And they never going to hear from you. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Oh my God, they feel like you're never going to hear from you again. Oh, they really feel like you're getting ready to cut them off and for life. We're not talking about a couple months here. Scorpio is not. <laughs> this is hilarious. Thank you, my Scorpio. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Queen of Cups. There you are. I'm so happy for you, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. I hope this is true. You got a new love in here. You're ready to shop the town for somebody else. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. You're not waiting. Three ones in reverse. You're not waiting for this. You are done. Oh my gosh. And this person, what is this person going to do? Angel Guys Spirits. What are they going to do? That came the top. Let's take one from the center. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Ah, oh, poor baby. King of Wands is going to come in and try to bring love and passion to you, Scorpio. But you don't need them. You're the Queen of Cups. You're like, what do I need you for? You should have thought about that before you got in the bed with a third party. Or you left me. Yeah, see? You're tired of this. Ten of Wands, you're tired. Okay, show me some cards for Scorpio. What's that one? Death card, I told you. You're changed. You have changed the whole game. This is going, name, you are a game life changer here. You got tired of this mess and now you're transforming. Because you're. Mm -mm. This person has it. 
they have a they had a rude awakening. They don't want you to be hard on them. They gonna call you a difficult person. You're not being difficult. You're just like I'm tired of being playing your little. I gotta worry about myself here. There's the power. Mm hmm. So you know you're tired of you're transforming, right? And they think here. It's a queen of swords in reverse here. They think you need to let your sword down and be nice. Scorpio, put your stinger away, they say. Don't be difficult, Scorpio. But you are saying, screw you. Sorry to the people. This is after midnight. I hope no kids are awake. Or, um, or, but this is supposed to be over 18 anyway. So I'm working on my money. Uh, screw you. I'm out of here. I'm doing what's best for me. I don't care what your feelings are. You're feel, I know what the facts are. You did not care about me when you had me, so bye. That's what I'm hearing. You're in control. Whether you're a man or woman, you're now the emperor. You have stepped in your power, and, you, um, and you're and you basically telling this person where they can go. Look at this. Let's get the emperor's finger. You can go to hell, you know? It's like you're saying, before hell freezes over, I'll do, deal with you again. I don't care what you want. You should have thought about that before you got in a bed with somebody. Something I'm hearing. You should have thought about that before you hurt me. And you told this person before. They have put a lot of knives in your back. They have hurt you way too much. And you're past the no you're at the point of no return. You don't have no feelings for this person anymore. You don't. You don't want no future. <sighs> this is stuck up now. Okay, so see, you're you're all about you now. You're working on your money. You're taking care of yourself. You don't need nobody. You're like God. Oh no, I want to date somebody. I want to find a, a person that's gonna respect me, love me, and somebody I can kiss, somebody I can have a companionship with. And you're telling them like it is. And you're saying, look. I wish you the best of luck. Um, I, don't, I don't have my feelings like I did. I love you and I will always care about you, but I need to look for something new. I'm ready. This is the truth coming from you. And you're telling it like it is. And this person can't take no for an answer. Mm -mm. They cannot see not being in your future here. They cannot see you saying no to them that... That, that you are just playing this this um, hard to get kind of energy, but in reality here you're the emperor and you really don't want this person. Now, you always care, like I said, but the way it looks right now, you're like done. You're over it is. But it's hilarious. Oh, there's that third party. Oh yeah, they're still not letting you go. One more, please. Clarify the, the deck of cards, please. Okay, yep. Yep, yep. Okay, so here you have. Now, you could be, there's two things to this. Uh, you can be out celebrating, being happy for yourself, and being stable and making your money. But it also could be that you are know this third party. They're not letting you go because they know you're growing your money. You're being very selected now. You feel like this person don't even fit on the tree for you. Okay? You don't even feel like this person is for you anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let me just take a couple of confirm. Uh, what you should know over the weekend kind of thing, but yeah, your attitude's gonna change. Oh, look, my Scorpios. I'm so happy for you. There's the Ten of Cups. What else for my Scorpios this weekend? Angel guys, what do they need to know? What do I need to know, too? Uh, what does Scorpio need to know? And if you're a cross-watcher, you might be connecting with a Scorpio. Um, you might need to yeah, you're out here. Mm. You're not one more. Oh, I'm sorry to get distracted here, but let's show you one more, please. 
Yeah, the only thing is here, Scorpio, is that um, you do have some healing to do. It's not the trauma you had experienced in the past, you know, but here's just what you're looking for, that new love. And you're going to have this. I just want you to know that. Um, and then you have the Princess of Cups. You're going to find this person. This person's going to come out of nowhere into your life. And you're going to say, I can't believe this happened to me when I thought I was never going to be loved again or be able to love again. Princess of Cups with the Ten of Cups. The only thing you need to do is just um, rest, take care of yourself, make sure you're doing good to you, <clears throat> and uh, take time out for yourself, okay? And don't do anything you're going to regret. You know, we don't want to do that. Okay, so let me take just two more. You're almost healed, Scorpio. My family, Scorpio, you're almost there. Don't give up on yourself, okay? You came a long way. Mm -hmm. Our priest is here. One more, please. What other message do you have for Scorpio? Thank you guys, spirits. What other message do you have for Scorpio? Queen of Cups. Just be strong, Scorpio. The strength card. You're becoming strong. Just stay strong, okay? And work on yourself here with your money. Grow your money. Okay, um, High Priestess here. Rest yourself. You have the Queen of Cups. Remember, we saw the Queen of Cups earlier. And remember, you have a big heart. You had a gold heart. You have a beautiful, shiny heart. You know, you are the Queen of Swords too. And you're, you're guarding that heart like, like you never did before. It's probably in a cage behind some ice here. And you got it behind a cement wall. I, I understand. And this is the part of your healing process. But you do have a beautiful love in your heart here. But there is going to be... When you open that doorway for new love. And when you feel that moment of release of... I don't want to be with this person no more. Not without anger, okay? Not without... Just you really want that person to be okay. You want them to have their life. You don't want nothing bad to happen to them. You want... Even though sometimes Scorpios can revenge. I get it. But don't do that. You will only block your own happiness here. So if you really want this to come true for you, you're going to have to open that doorway. And that is forgiving. I know some of you are going to go, well, I'm not going to forgive him because he did all this to me. Or she did all this to me. No. You do that, you're going to block everything good in your future. But I'm just saying, when you get to the point of the Three of Swords, and when you finish that healing process, and you step into your inner power already of Ten of Cups, Princess of Cups, Queen of Cups, you're going to you're going to change, you're going to feel yourself like transforming, like the Death card. You're going to feel this, it's like another layer came off of you. It's like somebody just, um, you just crossed into a new world of who you are. That's the best I can say it. So once you do that, and you have released that person's energy of saying, you know, I learned my lesson from that person. I'm grateful for that. Whether you went for a divorce and it, how painful it was to divorce this person, or this person got in a third party and they left you, or you were pregnant with a baby and they left you. Listen, okay? First of all, karma never loses an address. And number two is you have beautiful, you can have a beautiful, happy life, okay? So follow your intuition here. Don't cause any kind of um, damage to anyone in a bad way. Even though if you blow up on a person and it helps you release that, that person to say, you know, you go, but then you can just say, I don't want to be with this person. I don't even know why I'm fighting with this person. I don't even know why I'm still dealing with this person. Um, this is where your strength comes in. Just follow the high priestess, okay? Because something here... When you know in your heart this person is not right for you, you already know the Scorpio. You know this person in the past, this past relationship, was not, they were just a stepping pebble for you to step to the mountain. Okay, let me say that again. They were this little tiny pebble, the size of a peanut, for you to step on, for you to get to your on top of the mountain. Okay, and that's where your happiness is going to be because you're going to have a beautiful love life here. This is going to be that new person. This is going to be the one for you. And I, and I feel like you told this person, hey, I'm not your type. I know you're not, or you're thinking that you're not my type. This person was not healthy for me. This person drove me crazy. This person put me in therapy. This person gave me depression, anxiety. 
you name it, they did it to everything they could to pull me down. But you know what? Guess what, Scorpio? They did. They put. They pulled you to the bottom of, you know, they pulled you to the bottom here where they, that hurt you badly. But you took baby steps to get back in your power here, the strength card. And you followed your, your intuition. And you, and you, and during this process of transformation, it's kind of like a cocoon inside of a, I mean, a butterfly, a caterpillar inside the cocoon. It's a hard, difficult process for that caterpillar to trans, to metaphor, uh, to do, go through the metamorphosis uh, stage of turning into a butterfly. It's very painful. But what happens, Scorpio, when that can cocoon of poopa pops? You know what? You're free. You're free to be beautiful. And go anywhere you want to. You don't have to be in pain anymore. You can do whatever you want to be happy. So once you get up, pop out of that cocoon that you're in, that little uh, healing process and transformation process, once you pop open, you're going to fly away and you're going to be happy. This is happiness here. I, hope, I really wish this for everyone out there who's listening. This is a very beautiful message. What started out with someone who really thought... They can ruin your life. And at the end of this process, you're going to be 10,000 times better than you were before. You are going to be strong. You're going to start thinking about all the possibilities that you missed. You're going to be thinking about all the people you, you missed while playing, wasting your time with this, this idiot person or this loser person. You're thinking about, wow, I'm going to start getting attracted to the other people now. That's how you know you want to start transforming. And you're not going to be doing it for revenge. You're not going to do it out of evil or being cruel or anything like that. You're doing it because you're ready to meet somebody new. And you're, going to, you're almost healed. So give yourself a little bit more time and be happy with yourself. I want you to smile, Scorpio. A lot of you have not smiled and laughed in a long time. Go on YouTube and watch puppy videos if you need to or some funny comedian show. Don't walk, listen to sad music or anything. Just, But you have a beautiful thing right here. Beautiful chance in life to inspire you to do anything you want to do. Okay? Be brave. Okay? Be brave for yourself here. You were brave. You had to go through a lot for this person. It's time to take care of you. And get rid of the right person. only thing you can be thankful for is later on down the road, you're going to be saying, now I know why I was not with that person. That's what you're going to be telling your new person. Now I know why... I wasn't meant to be with that person because if I, if I had stayed with that person, I wouldn't have met you. And you're going to see a beautiful person that you meet inside and out. And I think you're, going, you're, just, you're not wanting no future with this person. You're almost done with that. And you're standing in your power here. And this, but you know what the funny part is here, um, Scorpios, is that this person can't believe that you're, going, you're never going to speak to them again or see them again. They know you're getting ready to pop out of that cocoon and fly away because they can feel. Trust me when I say uh, you are reading some telepathic things here. When you think this person doesn't know what's going on with you, yes, they do. And this is when you're going to realize I don't care what they think about me. I don't care if they love me. I don't care if they what they're thinking of me. I don't care if they're um, if they're having a hard life. That's their problem, you know. But you you want the best for them in the way of releasing them. Like hey. Okay, I want you to have the best life that you can have because I'm going to go do the same thing. Every human being deserves a happy life, but we also have rules in life by karma. So don't worry about this person. And don't pull out your stinker anymore. <laughs> I know you want to blow up on this person like you already did and probably didn't serve their life sentence to them. But you are Queen of Cups. You're better than that, Scorpio. You have a gold heart. Get in touch with yourself a little bit more. Heal yourself. Follow your intuition, please. And if you're dealing with the Pisces, please. I know how, you know, especially with Pisces. People are asking me all the time um, through emails, what zodiacs are really good for me, you know, as a Scorpio. Well, it depends on your chart. But I would not, I would say uh, majority of fire signs is not going to be healthy for Scorpio. Some can, it just depends on the chart. Uh, Taurus is usually good. Capricorns are pretty good. Virgos, for most part, there are some kind of poison. You remember all the zodiacs have a poison type inside their zodiac. Okay, there's no such thing as a hundred percent perfect Virgo. Nobody. It, it's on a lot of variables. But if you're asking me on the 
average. You just have to make that judgment call and follow your intuition when you're meeting people. But Virgos, for the most part, Capricorns, uh, Cancerians, um, even some Sagittarius. It's a fire sign, but it depends on if they're on the lower end of the fire sign close to Scorpio. It's possible you can get along with them, but not the full-blown ones at the closer to the Aquarius. Aquariuses are like really hard and difficult and non-commitment. I say that all the time, too. They're very hard to make a commitment with. But once it takes them a long, long time, long time. So if you've been going through that, you know what I'm talking about, non-commitment. Um, but it is showing here that you're going to be happy with somebody, regardless of the Zodiac, okay? Some Scorpios, are, like I said, there's an eagle top Scorpio and there's a poison top Scorpio. Just stay away from poison top Scorpios. Um, but not all, so it's not, even like in some Aries, there are some few that are really good to be with. But majority of the Aries with fire sign, with Scorpio, uh, that kind of, the water and the fire don't mix. Okay, it's like gasoline and more gasoline. But um, there's a lot of fire energy here though. So it just depends. And there's, um, but regardless of the Zodiacs, just follow your heart and follow your mind. But and connect your heart, your 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 logic mind, and your intuition. Follow it. You need those three things to make good choices, not just one. Okay, people say just follow your heart. No, because your heart can lie to you. Because you can be feeling things that could be deceptive. Okay, so follow your heart, your mind, and your logical mind, and your intuition, and make a good judgment decision. Okay, but you're doing good here, Scorpio. I'm really proud of you. And that things are going to be looking up. And you're going to be finding a good person. This this past person is not going to know what to do without you. When they say you move on, they're going to be... They're the one who's going to be feeling the pain that they gave you. They're going to feel like you're torturing them. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm saying that. But they feel like they're, you're torturing them. You are putting their life... you giving them a... They think you're a difficult person. But you're really not. You just don't stand up for BS. So when somebody tells you you're difficult... Or says you're hard to get along with or something like this. So no, I just don't put up with stupidity. And I don't put up with ignorance. And I don't put up with BS in my life. That is how you know you're with the wrong person. When they start telling you things like that. And, um, so, but you've got good things here, Scorpio. So, okay, give yourself a love and hug and a heart to you. Sending you a heart. <laughs> if I could do that. It's hard. I get to us more. But, you know what I mean. So, sending you love and heart hearts to you Scorpio take care and have a fabulous weekend don't forget to click don't forget to click the like button and subscribe button and get me to 10,000 I'll be super happy or more of course um that's just my magic number from the beginning and my goal so help me get there and leave a comment and uh, if you see anybody with whatsapp number please send me an email I do try to monitor all the emails but let me know okay and help each other on the board you would not believe how your encouraging words are helping other people understand they're not alone when they're in pain and hurting and sadness. So I hope that I'm helping you heal. I hope I'm giving you advice and guidance and giving you strength as here the strength card. I hope I'm motivating you. Scorpio, you're in a can um, I start to say Cancun. <laughs> Anybody going to Cancun, Mexico? Um, you're in a cocoon and you're getting ready to pop out and fly away into the sunset and be happy truth keep that feeling okay don't lose your feeling don't lose yourself you are almost there my family all right love you scorpios i'll talk to you soon send 11 live take care bye bye